Hey guys, Mick Hayes here from Move the Needle Music, available online at shopmtnm.com. We've been noticing a lot of people in our local record groups and communities that are considering getting a table at the local vendor sale. Now, we've got some experience with this and wanted to just do a quick kind of 10-point thing to help you guys out. Maybe it'll push you over the edge and may help you with your decision or things that we'll help you with on the day of. First thing first, though, before we get to that, you're going to toil. You're going to absolutely mentally abuse yourself over what you should bring. I say bring as much as you possibly can. There have been times when we actually rented a van just so we could bring more. And that will bring me to my next point. You will want to bring help. It's a lot of legwork. It's a lot of lifting. It's a lot of standing. So you're gonna to wanna to bring someone to help you the day of. And that takes us to our first point. First point, very simple. Load in sucks. There's a lot of instances where your car is gonna be all the way over there and you've gotta walk across the parking lot, through a hallway, across the venue, and then you find out because you're the newest person on the roster, they give you a table that's all the way at the back of the room and you're literally the last table. Now, some people will say that you're they're gonna, you know, you're not gonna have good sales and they're gonna sell all kinds of crap like that. None of that's true. We've been the first person on the roster, the new person, I should say, on the roster, and we've had great sales. As a matter of fact, I think still think that one of our first sales was one of our best sales ever. The next point, after load-in sucks, setup sucks. That's another thing you're gonna think about way too much. You're gonna think that you need a drop cloth. You're gonna think that you need bins and that you need a big thing behind you to display all your records. As a matter of fact, my advice for you is to go to Target and pick up a couple of these, like their children's paint easels. We put our high dollar records on those and keep them away from getting bent up in the bins. So point one, load in sucks. Point two, setup sucks. Point three, accept PayPal. Point four, accept Venmo. And point five, accept credit cards. Now, a lot of people that come to these events budget themselves. They govern themselves. They bring $200 and that's it. And if you're that last table and you have exactly what they want, you need to be their impulse buy. And I mean that. You need to offer them the opportunity to buy that record that they've been pining for, or that CD or the cassette, or whatever it may be. They've looked through the whole place and in surprise, here it is. They've already spent their budget, and now it's here, looking them in the face. They're holding it right there, the conditions there, everything they're looking for, but oops, they spent all their money. We also accept credit card, okay? Next point, have a sticker or a takeaway of some kind, something for people to take home. We do this for two reasons. One, if you don't get a sale, at least they're going home with something. They can look you up online if you have things online like we do. Next point, we have our business phone number on here. We don't want people to think that we're a fly-by-night seller and, hey, surprise, you bought a bunch of warped records. That's not the way we do business. I don't suggest it's the way you do business either. And that's a great way of getting a reputation for being kind of on the level, air quotes. Next point, engage with everyone. And I mean that. A lot of people will come to your table and they're relatively quiet. They're introverted. All they want to do is just kind of look through. There are times that people have looked at two, three records and walked away and I was like, what's that? What's that all about? You can't let any of that bother you. They'll walk over, they'll look at a couple of your records and then say this to them. Is there anything specific you're looking for? And they will say to you, usually, no, just looking around. And then sometimes I'll ask, well, what do you normally collect? And then they will usually say a little bit of everything, which is safe. It's a safe answer. We all probably would say the same thing under that pressure, but we're not trying to create pressure. What we're trying to create is engagement. So then I kind of have an icebreaker. I say to them, I say, I just want to make sure I left exactly what you're looking for at home. And then we both kind of chuckle, but it's important that I'm letting them know at that, at that moment that there's more, that they have more stuff at home. And because we give them a, a takeaway, and because we give them that opportunity again to you know, seek us out online, they usually sometimes will come forward with, yeah, actually, you know what I am looking for is blank, whatever it may be. And then if I have that at home, if we have that in stock, we have the opportunity to meet up with them at a later time in a safe, controlled atmosphere and venue 
and sell that to them, whether it be over a cup of coffee or over an adult beverage or whatever it may be. So it's important to engage with everybody. And again, to go back one point, have something for a takeaway. Next point, load out sucks. It's exactly like load in, only now it's longer and later and you've been on your feet and you've been talking at pretty much the same energy level that you're talking to right now for hours and hours and hours. So now you've got to load all this stuff out the same way. Next point, loading back into your home sucks too. So this is why we encourage you to have someone to help you, help you with load in, help you with setup, help you with tear down, loading out, and then loading back into your home. Because here's what I'm gonna say to you from a collector's perspective, because I've heard this voice in my head before. You're driving, you're a couple of miles away from home, you're really tired, your back hurts, and you say to yourself, if I just leave the records in the car overnight, they'll be fine, I'll unload in the morning. No! They might not be, depending on the climate in which you're living in and the time of year, they might not be. You could ruin a whole crate of records by leaving it in the heat or the cold. So don't do that. Load out sucks and loading back into your home sucks. Bring help. All in all, here's what I'll say. We love it. We absolutely love it. We've done any show we can get to in a reasonable amount of time and a reasonable distance and enjoyed it every time we've done so. In the lulls, and there are lulls if from, you know, places all tend to be different. That's when we will go one at a time, table to table, and look at other people's stuff and communicate and, and kind of, you know, converse with other sellers and see how they're doing, see how their day was. There are times that we'll swap and trade things that we can't sell in our markets and in our little niche audiences, and hopefully they can move it, especially if they're the kind of uh, seller that goes around the country and does show after show after show. We just got rid of actually a Garth Brooks box set that we were stuck with, and we wish the guy 100% luck on his way, and hopefully he's already moved it by now. That said, it's also a time to grab stuff for your personal collections. That's when, you know, especially after people have been earning money all week long, hey, that record that's over there, is that something you'd be willing to part with? Yes, it is. We've got $80 on it. Cool. How about this? Seller to seller. Would you take 75 bucks? Actually, you know what? I will. Thanks so much, man. Here you go. Handshake, 75 bucks. And you walked out of there with a record for your collection, just the same way that someone walked out of something, walked away from your table with something for their collection. Lastly, and I mean this, have fun. A lot of these events are held in VFW halls. They don't have food, they don't have drinks. Some of the VFW halls will have drinks, but still. So we eat, sneak in beer. <laughs> I hate to make that a point, but do something to have fun. We sneak in beer, we kind of have fun. It's another point again to break down that whole customer thing. It's like, hey, is it time to have my first beer yet? And someone will crack a joke. So I mean this. And here's what I can say to just take this one step further, if you'll pardon the rant as we're just approaching eight minutes here, especially if you have that younger next generation that's exciting, excited and vibrant about collecting, give to them the same kind of energy and excitement that you had the first time you collected a record or you found out that this was your thing. And even if they don't, if you don't have what they're looking for, okay, maybe they're there looking for uh, some super hip trendy record that you and I both know they can go get at Walmart. But for some reason they're here and they're looking to get it just a couple bucks cheaper, but you don't have it. But you know that you could suggest something to them that they might like. You never know. You really might turn somebody on to something. And I guess that's really still what drives me today. So at that point, I'm going to draw there. Those are the points that we have, we have made up for you today. Hopefully they help. I hope you do take the opportunity to set up at your local vendor record show and and you know what have fun man get that takeaway don't toil over the little things just go out and have fun crack a beer celebrate call it what you will and at that after that if you're interested in any more information about us and what we do we're available like i said online at shopmtnm.com we sell on ebay we sell on discogs we sell on a number of those different markets we sell on marketplace as well and i don't know what to say man we're all in this for the same reasons, because we enjoy and love music. Let's keep it that way. So I did it all in under 10 minutes. 10 points plus in under 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you're inspired. Thanks so much.